we are. I spent about six months last year trying to figure out exactly why sloths poop in a peculiar fashion. <laughs> And the science is still sort of out on it. You couldn't really pin it down. <laughs> and so I think oftentimes listeners or, or people that are new to science just expect like, give me the answer and I want it to be perfect. And I, and, uh, and I want the magic bullet solution to everything. And so I think some people might be taken back by this a little bit. So can we talk a little bit about that at first? It's too late to stop climate change. Yeah, I, I mean, when people talk about climate deniers, um, I, I don't think that's a very precise term. I don't know. If, I don't know. Uh, are we are we saying that there are people who haven't noticed that the climate <laughs> has changed? That last year's worst wildfires in recorded history out west didn't happen? That last year was not the hottest year on the planet ever recorded? That there weren't more hurricanes last year than any recorded year that the Death Valley temperature of 131 degrees in July wasn't the hottest temperature ever recorded on the planet, that Siberia, Siberia didn't hit 101 degrees <laughs> last summer. Um, so I think, th I think the number of people who say, no, 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 none of that happened is is very small i don't i don't think that's really what a denier is today mm -hmm. i think a denier is somebody who says yeah 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 the weather's changing but the weather's always changed there's always been cycles i mean there's been ice ages yeah. there's been spikes in carbon dioxide every hundred thousand years and that is all true that is all a fact that that some degree of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere is important for life if if there weren't this shell of, of greenhouse gases around the atmosphere the earth would be a frozen ice ball. Um, and yes, every 100,000 years, there's a spike. What's different this time is if you look at the graph, uh, this spike has happened much faster, not on the scale of thousands of years, but in the last 150 years, which happens to coincide with when we started burning coal, oil, and gas. I mean, it's, a, it's an exact replica. So it's, it's happening faster than it's ever happened and the spike is much higher like like there hasn't been this much carbon dioxide in the air for 12 million years um it's it, i mean long before we came along mm -hmm. so it's uh it's much faster and much higher even so uh the yale center for climate communications does this survey twice a year of american attitudes toward climate change and the, the latest report came out two days ago, and it says the number of Americans who believe that um, these are natural cycles we're witnessing is down to 29%. It's been dropping about five or 6% a year steadily. I think the average person would say, oh, it's half and half. It's a red state, blue state thing. It's really not. It's only 29% of the population that continues to drop. Um, slowly acceptance is setting in that we have something to do with this. I mean. That said, I don't mean to, you know, dump on the 29% who think this is all a natural cycle. Uh, if I may That's say so. Not very many of my listeners, I, yeah. I, am, I imagine, but yeah. <laughs> but I will say that for the purposes of this book, How to Prepare for Climate Change, it doesn't freaking matter. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if you think we did this or if it's a natural cycle. Right. It's still getting intense out there and you still need to prepare.